Hi, I'm back. Uh, this is part two of our lesson seven, security and maintenance for our IC3 module A, computing fundamentals. And again, this is Mr. Orvin. Uh, so let's come back to our lecture. Okay, so let us discuss backup and the store. So what do we mean by this? Why do we need to back up? Okay, so we're talking about security and maintenance. So part of the maintenance is uh, for you to have a backup. Something goes wrong, you have another uh, another uh, source, okay? Especially your data, okay? A backup is duplicate of a program, a disk or data made either for archiving purposes or for safeguarding files, okay? If you lose that, for example, your system crash, then at least you can have those backup and put it back. Backs, backups should be written on a storage medium other than the source of the backup. Usually, uh, for me, my computer has these files that I have, and these are all related to Geotech. Uh, I back it up, uh, or even not only for, by, uh, for Geotech, for personal use also. I back it up so that when I lose it, I can still have at least most of the file, the previous files, okay? Uh, I do it once a month, okay, or if it is available. Uh, copying files to cloud storage is one way on how to do, do this. Using file history in Windows 10 is also another feature of Windows 10 to automatically create an early backup of your personal files whenever the destination media is connected to the BC. So uh, cloud storage, okay, OneDrive, Dropbox, iCloud, okay, uh, what else? Google Drive. Uh, file history in Windows, meaning if you have, uh, what we call this, files and folders on your computer, you can connect a hard disk as an external, and you can have the file history so that it can create a backup Okay, automatically. There's also what we call using Windows Backup and Restore. So in Windows 7, that configures Windows to automatically create a weekly backup. But this again in Windows 7, uh, in Windows 10, we have the file history. Okay. Uh, how to do the file history? To configure the feature, connect an external drive, open the settings, click Update and Security, Update and Security window, and then click Backup. Okay, so that's how you do it. But you have to use uh, an external hard disk or a USB, okay, if you want. Okay, click add a drive, then select an external drive in the select a drive window to display the automatically backup. My files, click more options to view the backup options page. More options, okay, this one. Okay, so in the options, you can see this. Okay, use the settings on this page to control how often to backup and how often to keep backup files. You can, uh, you can uh, set up as every hour or uh, you can have it as it is connected. Okay, by default, these folders include desktop documents, download music, pictures, videos, and more. You can add or exclude folders as required. Okay, another way is Windows Backup and Store uh, to backup the entire system or only the files or folders you select. You can allow Windows to choose what to backup or you can select the individual folders, libraries, and types that you want to backup. So by default, again, you have the desktop, okay, the documents, the live, uh, the videos, the pictures, and so on. Okay, in Windows 7, we have uh, the backup and restore, but again, we do not have that anymore in Windows 10. So if you have never used Windows backup before, you need to set it up first by following the steps in the wizard. Uh, you, can, you can go to the control panel. Let me see if it is available in Windows 10, but as I said, it's not. System and security. Backup and restore. Set up backup. 
it will take some time so just from here i will just guide you but i'm cancelling it sorry okay uh let me just check if i'm sharing my windows correctly I'm back okay I'm not sure if you have seen what I've done here uh, let me just go back okay, in the control panel where do we get that I taught you about this uh, system and security and then you can see here there is a um, what was that yeah backup and restore so as I said you can click this and set up the backup so if you haven't set it up uh, if you haven't used it, you can set it up first. Okay, uh, set up backup. Then you will come here. Okay, what are you going to back up? Of course, your hard disk. Okay, where are you going to uh, save the backup? You can save it uh, in again another external hard disk or somewhere here on your computer also. But it will take time because of a lot of files also. Uh, for example, you are already using 500 MB of your 1 GB hard disk. That's a big file. Okay, click next if you want to accept the default settings or click let me choose to specify custom settings. Okay, click change schedule if you're changing it uh, because by default it will give you when uh, you can change it. Okay, according to your convenience if you're not using it. Okay, so that's it. Okay, now of course you back up, then you can restore. Okay, if you use a OneDrive or your Google Drive, you can sync them together. Okay, I mean, uh, for example, I've shown you in my file explorer, I have a geotech OneDrive here. Okay, I can always sync this. Okay, sync means uh, uh, having your file here on your computer and on the cloud to be the same okay it can be automatic it can be uh, manually uh, synced or synchronized okay if you back up using file history open the settings app click update and security again let's go to us the settings okay here and then go to update and security. Okay, and then go to click back up. Back it up. Back up using file history. So you can see here add drive and so on. Okay, but this is restoring file. So once you've done that, so this is the reverse of that. Restore, restore files from current backup. So by the way, in this lecture, if I'm showing you just uh, bits and pieces of what we're discussing, uh, it's because I want you to try it uh, at your own, okay, on your own. Okay, if you back up using backup and restore, open the control panel and navigate to system and security, click backup and restore Windows, Windows 7 page, then click the restore my files, okay? So you can restore your files using that uh, backup and restore. Okay, secure backups. Businesses which handle other people's personal information are required by law to maintain and secure backup, backup for a requisite number of years. So there are businesses that which handle personal information. So ROP, bank, so those are examples. Okay, backup should be encrypted, very, very secure. Okay, now we backup PC system files and settings. We do not only backup our files and folders, but also the system files and settings. So you can restore, uh, you can set up a restore point on Windows and image files if you want. Okay, and in iPhone, for example, you can use the iCloud. Okay, so I think those are the settings. Uh, in, in, in your 
uh, windows, you have a restore point. So it's not going to uh, back up your uh, files and folders, but this one is the configuration, okay, of your computer before, okay. Sometimes you need to go back there because some some problem happens on your computer. You need to go back to where you are working properly, okay. There's no problem, okay. So you have to go back there. This is what restore. So for example, uh, November 10 was the last time I used my computer. Uh, correctly. I mean, it is working properly. Uh, but now it caught something, a problem when I download, when I install the software, then I can use system restore so that I can go back to November 10. Okay. And it will work fine again. Okay. So to ensure that this protection feature is enabled on your Windows 10, you can have to set it up. Click in the taskbar, search box, then type restore. So search box, restore. So create a restore point. Even this is on your control panel, you can do that. Okay, system restore, configure, create. Okay, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, so you can see here, restore system files and setting. You click next, next, next here, and so on. So again, if you want, you can try it on your own. Okay, so let's proceed. Okay, when enabled, system restore automatically creates restore points. So when you say points, for example, every week, there's a point or a day, a time that it will uh, save whatever settings, okay, you have. Okay, click in the taskbar, search box, then type restore. Create a restore point, click, click create and so on. So you can do that. Okay, when you restore from a restore point, system restore restores the system files, program files, and registry settings from the restore point of your computer. You may want to ask a technical specialist to guide you through rolling back your system to a restore point. So you can, this is now how you go back to that restore point. So for example, as I told you, you can set it up to save the settings that you have uh, every week. So for example, that week was, uh, today is 23 of December. Then by next week, which is 30 of December, it will again save it. For example, next year uh, by January uh, 5, okay, you found out that your computer is not working. Then you can restore it to December 20, uh, 30. Okay, the time that it is working properly. Okay. Okay, you can also set up a system image or a repair disk. Uh, at one time, for example, with the use of backup and restore Windows 7 in the control panel, you can create a system image link. Okay. Uh, let me go back. Create a system image, yeah. okay, or create a system repair this. So if something happened, for example, uh, that it didn't work and a restore, then at least you have a CD, okay, that asks your system. You can use that by doing, uh, you can do that by using this, okay, system image or repair this. Uh, your smartphone also has that, has those system image. Uh, in iPhone, there's an iCloud always. If you have a bus, backup and restore there, you can always have your system image or repair, okay? So once something happened. But usually iPhone is good. I'm not sure about Android. <laughs> I was an Android user before and I didn't like it. Okay, that's why I switched to iPhone. Anyway, uh, that's one of the advantage of iPhone. Uh, you do not have to go to that uh, point that you have to restore it. Okay, so let's proceed. Okay, ba backing up your mobile data. It is always a good idea to back up your personal data on your mobile devices. 
use a USB cable and copy the data to your PC or use the phone's built-in backup utilities and associated cloud storage. Um, of course, your mobile phone, especially videos, pictures, okay? So those are the things that you want to back up. So because when your mobile phones get damaged and you have a backup somewhere, iCloud and Android, you have, uh, uh, you can go to settings, personal backup and reset, turn on both backup my data and automatic restore. You can put it on your computer or you have, you can use a Gmail or a G uh, Google account. Okay, so same with iPhone iOS, you can uh, put it on iCloud, okay, or again, just put it on iTunes on your computer. Okay, using factory reset options for PC. Uh, when you use a factory reset option on your device, you are set, resetting the device to the state it was in when it came out of the factory, meaning the first time you bought it. Always create a backup of your personal files before resetting your device. So it's like rebooting or before we call it, you can reformat your computer. Okay, so I'm not sure if you're familiar of reformatting your USB drive. So it's the same thing. It's going to erase everything and clear all the hard disks. Okay, partition will be there. Now you can start uh, restoring your image or meaning the operating system. Okay, how to do that? Click start settings, update and security, recovery, get started, keep my files or removing everything. Okay, so just read the presentation. Okay, resetting mobile devices. Uh, you have to remove the SIM card before donating or giving your phone to someone else. Always back up your personal files before resetting. Okay, mobile devices include the factory reset feature that restores the device to the state it was in when it left the factory. So it's the same thing, any device actually, like even my uh, router or range extender or the booster, the signal booster and the Wi-Fi. So you can always reset all those things, your phone, okay? And it will go back to the time that it has nothing, okay? It's just the basic operating system with basic applications, okay? Uh, remember that if you use a GSM mobile device, the, the installed SIM card includes your personal account information. So always remove the SIM card if you want to uh, throw away your mobile devices and always back up your personal files before resetting. I just repeated that. Anyway, uh, for Android, to restore your Android device to its factory settings, go to settings, personal backup and reset, tap factory data reset and tap reset phone. So I'm not sure if this is still the same in Android. They might be updated already. This was five years ago. Uh, same with iPhone and iOS. So you can see all of this settings, iCloud, uh, or uh, let's just check out of this. But anyway, this is the idea, so I think you can all follow this. Okay, let's go to the last topic, which is troubleshooting. Now, troubleshooting is a systematic approach to solving a problem. Remember the keyword, systematic. You don't just troubleshoot because that's what you want to do. You just don't do things that you want to do. Okay, you may need to try several different approaches. There are a lot of, you know, uh, way on how to troubleshoot something and so on. Okay, but we always go to general troubleshooting tips. Write down your steps to help you remember exactly what you've done and prevent you from testing the same possible causes again. Uh, so it's simply just chat down or at least have an idea where you are going or where you went already and where, where you're going to so that you do not have to repeat it again. Okay, so do not... Uh, even you can capture it via your phone. Okay, this is what I did on my computer. Photo number one, image. Okay, next. Okay, and so on. Okay, now the question is, in a computer, is it a hardware problem or a software? Okay, the very uh, common practice or the best practice is always start with the hardware, of course. This is very basic. Something happened to a computer the hardware is the first thing that we troubleshoot. Why? Because it's the first thing that we see, 
it's the first thing that we can feel. Again, I discussed this, the five senses. You can see, you can touch, you can smell, you can hear, uh, you can taste, okay? But of course, you're not going to taste. I'll give an example. Something is uh, burning, okay? You can smell smoke on your computer, from your computer. So that means it's a hardware problem, something burned, okay? So the problem has to be solved like that. So there is no light on the power button, there's no power, okay? So these are the things that you have to investigate first. Uh, your computer is not working. Did you check the cable? Okay, if a power cable, for example, if it is connected, the monitor is not working. There's no, uh, no nothing, it's just black screen. So again, check the cables, check if there's a power. This is very basic in hardware and a lot of people are afraid to do that, okay? So you can see me sometimes I'm rolling over the computer laboratories, the computer, because that's what I do. I troubleshoot. Okay, you can see, okay, this is not working. So it's either there's just a connection problem or the power is just not on. Uh, so this is what I want you to learn as soon as possible. When you see a computer, when you sit on a computer, it is not working. You have to ask yourself, it is, is it really not working or is it just not power on? Okay. Now, the software is you rule out already the hardware. There's no problem with the hardware. There is power. Uh, it is connected properly and so on. So you go to uh, the next step, which is the software. Okay, this you install an update recently. That's closing and then restarting the application solve the problem. So there is, a, you know, uh, I cannot connect to the network. Why? Okay, so let's try the cable. Is it connected? Yes, it is connected. So now restart your computer. Maybe it will work. Same goes with your iPhone. Uh, an application is not working properly. You restart your iPhone, your, uh, your phone, mobile phone, and it might work, okay? So again, these are different questions. Now, if there are errors, okay, errors on a software that's not working properly or in your Windows, you can Google it. You can, uh, I mean, search about the answer to that. Okay, uh, so again, connection, connecting to a network, I just mentioned that. So you can start with a cable if, and your Wi-Fi, for example, your Wi-Fi is disconnected. So once it is disconnected, of course, you cannot connect to the internet. So there are ways on how to know that uh, the Wi-Fi is already connected, there's no issue, but the internet connection is an issue sample uh no 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 not the internet uh your wi-fi is okay or there is a cable uh there's no problem then it might might be your configuration on your computer this is talking about ip address okay so you can reset the ip address actually by restarting your computer so that's one way there are network uh or computer you know, um, enthusiast, computer professionals that knows how to deal with IP address and they can release the IP address so that your computer will get another one. But anyway, you can do that by just restarting. Okay, you do not have to learn how to do that. Uh, for those who learned already, okay, uh, that's fine. Okay, now if the problem is not on your computer, maybe from your router. So you can restart your router or your hotspot, okay, from, uh, you you can know that by, for example, okay, my network is not working here uh, in my house. You can call the call center of Omantel. My network or I don't have connection to the internet, what's happening? But they can check from there. From their side, they said, it's okay from here, sir, but can you just restart your router? So you can do that. So something like this, okay? So anyway, that ends our uh, discussion for lesson number seven, actually module A as a whole. This is our last lessons, or this is our last lesson, which I divided into two. Okay, so what did we learn? To explain the need for security, describe how to keep your username and password safe, to describe the risks, presented by viruses, worms, trojans, and malwares. Describe the risk associated with network connections. Protect your information when using public computers. Describe the risks 
presented by social engineering and phishing. Describe methods for protecting against risks. Explain how and why to backup and restore your data in your settings. Explain how to reset personal devices to their factory settings. Describe basic troubleshooting techniques and understand basic troubleshooting techniques. Now, there are really a lot of uh, topics on computers and I can, or we in a geotech and IC3 can only teach you some. So there are a lot of still for you room to learn uh, about all these things, but uh, our goal is for you to pass the exam. So I will expect you to practice on your geometrics, uh, browse this PowerPoint presentations and maybe uh, read the ebook if you are, you know, you still are confused or you still uh, have doubts on some of the topics. So with that, I will just end my presentation. Okay, with that, thank you very much for watching my videos. And I hope you all the uh, all the best on your coming exam. So this is your teacher, Mr. Orvin, signing off. All the best.